It's hard to overstate how despicable and sociopathic it is that Trump keeps lying about the undeniable fact that coronavirus cases are surging throughout the country. This was from today and yesterday. We are likewise getting under control. Some areas that were very hard hit are now doing very well. We're putting out the fires. But other places were long before us, and they're now, it's a life, it's got a life. A lot of people would have wilted, they would have wilted, but we didn't wilt, and our country didn't wilt, and I'm very honored to be your president. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're headed back in a very strong fashion with a V, and I think we're going to be very good with the coronavirus. I think that at some point, uh, that's going to sort of just disappear, I hope. You still believe so? Disappear? Well, I do. I do. Yeah, sure, at some point. And I think we're going to have a vaccine very soon, too. Trump's saying it's going to disappear. February 27th, Trump said, quote, it's going to disappear. It's going to disappear in the summer. It's July 2nd. Independence Day is <laughs> coming up. Has it disappeared? Has it disappeared? This is just a new level because his, the sycophantic Republican governors like DeSantis, they would listen to you if you were more forthright about the risks, but that gets in the way of his Trump incorporated marketing campaign. I mean, re-election bid. I mean, I've never seen such a stark example of a Republican politician putting his own personal self-interest ahead of the American public as we've had two Vietnam wars of deaths and counting people infected by coronavirus. Here's the reality on the COVID-19 numbers. And I know these statistics could be rote and we hear about them all the, every day and it, we can become numb to it, but it's so important to have this data in your mind. The United States reported 52,789 new coronavirus cases on Wednesday, the largest single day total since the start of the pandemic. President Trump speculated in a Fox Business interview that the virus was going to sort of just disappear at some point. Experts say that is unlikely unless an overwhelming majority of people are infected and develop immunity, which could lead to millions of deaths or through the successful development and deployment of a vaccine. There is a chance the coronavirus will never go away, some experts have warned. Most health officials, including Dr. Anthony Fauci in earlier testimony, said the virus has killed more people than official death totals indicate. Most deaths worldwide have occurred among people older than 50 and those with underlying health problems as they are often most vulnerable to respiratory disease. However, cases are showing up in younger people as restrictions on staying home are lifted. Researchers ha have also linked the disease to a mysterious and deadly inflammatory syndrome in hundreds of US children, an indication that much is still unknown about the virus and the way it affects different people. The pro-life crowd that wants herd immunity, whatever that is, we don't even know if having the antibodies leads to immunity. The antigens some reports indicate could wear off in some months. We just don't know, we don't know. We don't have enough information to make that kind of decision because if we try to go with that kind of strategy like they're basically doing in Florida, people are gonna die. A national strategy of hundreds of millions of people doing herd immunity, millions would die, millions would die. And Trump's complete inability to relay information to the public that is helpful, it, like, you have to make a calculation, man. If you want to get reelected, I'm telling you, this is no longer the way to go. His numbers are dropping. People are terrified. It's been four months of this. And, and, and Trump has continued to try to downplay the virus. From that quote I read back in February where he said it would just disappear, to now in July he's saying it's just going to disappear. That people can see through that. It's not working anymore. So from a purely selfish perspective, just do the right thing, because then maybe you have a shot here. But I'm thinking about it from a relaying information to MAGA heads so they don't get the virus, die themselves, spread it to other people. He needs to just step up. It's not gonna happen. <laughs>